Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Dr. Brockington and Michael Johnson. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas. How are you? Fantastic. Very Thanks good. For, for having us. I am so excited. We're going to talk about, I want my audience to know, I have the legendary Olympic sprinter, Michael Johnson, and he's a four-time Olympic champion and eight-time world champion, and he's got some news he's going to share with us. And also, I have one of the world-renowned stroke neurologists, Dr. Carol Brockington. Dr. Brockington, before I speak with Michael, would you say what a stroke is? Because I don't know if we all really know what it is. Right, it's very important. So a stroke is actually an injury to the brain, and the injury is caused by not enough blood getting to the brain in a period of time. So many people think stroke might occur over months and years, but actually occurs over seconds to minutes. Because the minute the brain doesn't get enough blood flow, the symptoms begin. Um, and typically, the brain, the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body and vice versa. So if you don't get enough blood flow to the right side of the brain, you might start to have left body symptoms arm, leg, face, you might have visual complaints, you might have speech complaints, but the symptoms begin suddenly, and it's from an injury to the brain from not enough blood flow. Thank you. We'll come back and I'll talk to you about FAST, but Michael, right now I would ask you, what do you know about stroke? What can you share in the conversation? Well, I, I know a lot more now than I did uh, prior to, uh, to my experience last August uh, when I all of a sudden started experiencing this weakness in my left leg and uh, lack of coordination in my left leg and, and, and also a tingling and numbness in my left arm. Um, and um, uh, fortunately, I went to the emergency room uh, quickly and, and was able to get treated quickly and, and found out when I got there that I had indeed uh, suffered a stroke in the right side of my brain. Um, so yeah, since that time, I certainly understand a lot more about stroke. I went through from that point uh, through physical and occupational therapy to regain mobility and regain uh, coordination and balance, which I had lost. I wasn't able to walk initially, so I had to sort of learn how to walk again. And I was at a pretty high level of, uh, of physical uh, ability before the stroke, and, and my objective was to get back there. And, and fortunately, I was able to get back there. Um, but it's been um, uh, a, a journey, it's been an experience. I work closely with my doctors now. I understand now that you know, once you've had a stroke that uh, you're at increased risk for a, a second stroke. Um, and so my objective at this point now is to, to minimize that risk. And so I work closely with my doctors and making sure that I you know, continue to, to uh, take care of myself and, and continue to stay healthy and fit and, and eat a nutritious uh, uh, diet and um, um, you know try to keep the risk factors at bay and and take a, a, a aspirin and a statin and blood pressure medications as prescribed by my doctor and continue to work closely with them. Thanks for sharing your personal connection, Dr. Brockington. Michael said something before we say fast. He was at probably peak physical health. Why a stroke? Well, it's a good question because many people think only strokes occur when I'm going to get older. I don't have to worry about that now. But the truth is, is that strokes can occur at any age. And so he did the right thing, that suddenly when symptoms began, he said, this isn't right, and I need to go to the hospital right away. Uh, people can have strokes for a variety of reasons, meaning things that have not been diagnosed already, if they have a problem with blood vessels or heart or blood. So it's important that if you develop symptoms of a stroke, whether you're young or old, that you realize that something's wrong and you need to go to the hospital immediately. We say stroke is an emergency. And the reason why is because there are treatments that we give that are very time dependent. If the brain isn't getting enough blood flow, each moment that goes by, that part of the brain uh, can be permanently damaged. So that the faster you go to the hospital, the faster you get the diagnosis, and the faster you're able to get the appropriate treatment, the more likely you're able to recover well um, and continue with your life as if uh, nothing ever happened. So it's very important to know the signs and symptoms and to realize that it's an emergency and to go to the hospital right away. And real quick, fast. What does FAST stand for, the acronym? Yeah, so we want people to know what the symptoms of stroke could be. And if you think act fast, if you think F is for face, uh, if suddenly your face is drooping, maybe you're having a stroke. A is for arms, you try to outstretch your arm and the arm doesn't move, might be having a stroke. S is for speech, suddenly your speech 
it's not what it should be, or you can't think of the words, or you're not understanding what people are saying to you. And T is for time. We want people to call 911 right away to go to the hospital and get the appropriate treatment. I want to thank you so very much. Can they find out some information online? Yes. Uh, so your listeners can go to strokeassociation.org. Uh, slash stroke month to get all the information about stroke, diagnosis, treatment, prevention strategies, and lifestyle changes. Thank you so much, Dr. Brockington. And Michael, what can we expect from you in the near future? Well, I'm a Dallas native and, and I'm back in Dallas quite often, so uh, I'll be back in Dallas soon. Um, just continuing to, uh, you know, uh, again, try to work with my doctors and minimize my risk of a second stroke and continue to just move on with my life. I was never able to, um, to find out, you know, the, the, the direct cause of my stroke. Um, but, um, the, the only thing I can do is, is sort of move past that and, and, um, continue to, to minimize my risk and, and continue to live my life. Michael Johnson, I want to thank you so much for sharing your personal testimony. And Dr. Brockington, thank you. I heard you're a world renowned person. Oh, well, so I appreciate you. that. Thank you. Thank you so much for being my guest on the Velder BB Show. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to my phone pouch.